what we're doing now, Georgie? We're going to uh, perfect start to see Maggie. She's our potential fixed partner. Okay, cool. We met our fixed partner Maggie at Perfect Start. It is a unique skill centre in Oxbridge which helps people with learning disabilities. After asking Maggie if she or anyone at the centre had any problems that we could help with from a design perspective, she told us that three came to mind. The first problem we decided to address was that of the trouser hanger, where some of the members of the centre had trouble holding it and threading their clothes through at the same time, so we designed a retrofitting product which makes it easier. Here's a series of images that puts it into perspective. We took the hanger alongside the retrofitting product to perfect start in an attempt to get some user feedback. Instead of making the process simpler, however, it only made it more complex. So we went back to the drawing board in an attempt to generate some new ideas. Eventually, we managed to reach a solution, which is this, an easy to use hanger which involves three steps. Just open it up, push your clothes in and close it. Here's a short video to show you how it's done. The second problem Maggie told us about was that in the centre a lot of the members had troubles reaching the top areas of the kitchen. This includes the cabinets and the shelves. Because many of the people had trouble with balance and hand-eye coordination, it was dangerous for them to use the current stalls out on the market, them being too flimsy and too unstable. With Rig Day, we were presented with a great opportunity to all come together and focus on the platform. After creating the rough platform on Rig Day, we wanted to try out an application, so we took it along to perfect start. As you can see, it allowed us to reach the top shelves in the kitchen area with relative ease, and it was also fairly easy to put away. Because workshops were unavailable, we decided to make a CAD model to show Maggie and the group, just to let them know what we would build then if given the chance. The third and final problem that we encountered at the centre was that a lot of people, in particular those with arthritis, had troubles using toilet brushes. Now this was for two reasons. The first being that toilet brushes have very narrow handles, and that makes it hard for them to grip. The second problem being that they're too short and it means that a lot of people have to get on their hands and knees to actually use them. The solution we came up with was this, a toilet brush with a much longer stem and a thicker handle which has grooves for each of your fingers. Whilst it was only a foam model, we still wanted to get some feedback from Maggie in the group, so we took it along. And whilst the model literally fell apart in her hands, she said she really liked it due to the longer stem and the ergonomic grip.